All right, here we go. Hey, everybody. I'm Sigari. Today, I'm going to be talking about the first year anniversary package that we got from Vespa in Kings Raid. There are three options, and I'll be going over each of the options to help you guys pick what pack is going to be best for you. I just want to state up front, this video has some opinions in it, and there is no right answer. A lot of players have put their heads together trying to figure out which pack is the best, which pack, which pack has the best ruby value. Honestly, they're all pretty much the same value, but we're going to go with this, and we're going to try and figure out which pack is best for you. So let's start with the King's Pack, all right? The King's Pack has, every pack has five days of rewards, so you don't get all of the rewards on the first day. You get a UW ticket, and you get a T1 Hero Selector ticket with heroes up to Theo, Mediana, and Artemia, okay? On the second day, you get 500 frags of all types. Quick math, that's 3,500 fragments. That's a lot of frags, okay? Uh, you get another T1 Hero Selection ticket with... Theo, Mediana, and Artemia up to. Uh, you also get some stamina potions and 10 million gold. On the third day, you get a mysterious book box, which has 200 of each type of book. That means white, green, blue, and purple. That does not mean you get 200 books for each class. The mysterious skill books are the ones that you open, and you get books from those. Uh, you get a T6 legendary gear ticket. This is okay for beginners. Uh, it, older players, not really a big deal. Uh, and then you get special enhancement crystals, which we're still trying to figure out what those are, but I'm sure somebody will shout it out in chat here in a few minutes. On the fourth day, you get stones of infinity costume ticket with the school swimsuit, Halloween and idol. And then you get three loot boosters. And then on the last day, you get a random UW, two weeks worth of gold boosters, two weeks worth of experience boosters, and a thousand rubies. Okay. So putting that all together, the highlights from this pack are the infinity stones. You get three of them. You get two T1 hero tickets, which is pretty awesome. And you also get those fragments. You get 3,500 fragments. That's a lot of quality. Now, this is a great package for people who are new to the game and are really interested in getting the most kickstart that they can. I think that this is a better pack than Raid for people who are brand new. You get a huge level boost right out of the gate. These T1 heroes are level 60. So when you use the T1 hero selection ticket, you actually get a level 60 hero, which is pretty crazy. So that's Kings, okay? Uh... The random UW, also kind of a toss-up. You know, if you get a random UW, hey, right? All right, let's take a look at Raid now. Raid, we're looking at 30 million gold instead of 10 million gold, so it's got some more gold, okay? T1 hero tickets don't start at 60. Where did I read that? Okay, they start at level one. I feel, I feel bad about that. All right, uh, Raid. So you've got a UW first day. Stamina and gold, 30 million gold. The second day, you get a three-star hero ticket that can pick almost every hero in the game except for the most recent batch. You cannot get you cannot get Ezekiel, Rakina, or Ophelia out of this ticket, but you can get Scarlet, Sonia, and Mirian, which is pretty nice. You also get a week of gold and experience boosters, and then you also get 250 frags of all types. That's still a lot of frags. What's more is on the third day, you get 80 Essence of all types. Now, I just want to point out that 80 Essence equals 800 frags. Yes. 800. Math. Yes, 800 frags. So 800 times 7 is a lot more than 500 times 7. So, something to think about. Uh, 10 Stones of Infinity is just massive. Like, that's that's huge growth, right? Uh, you get 300 Mysterious Skill Books all types, and you get some Heroic Runes. I don't know why I best put the Heroic Runes in. Whatever. Uh, day 4, you're getting School Swimsuit Halloween and Idol Costume Ticket, 10 Loot Boosters, 100 XP Potions, and 250 XP Potions. XP Potions feel like filler to me, but the Loot Boosters, that's 
massive. Okay, 10 loot boosters is a lot of growth. If you do your loot boost upper dungeon, which does one, two, and three on one day, and then one, two, and three on the next day between days, that's so much growth. Like that's 900, that's like 9,000 fragments at least of growth. Like that's crazy. So that, well, 4,500 because you'd already get the 4,500 and you're just doubling them. So that's a ton of growth right there. That is not to be missed. And then on the last day, you get another costume ticket, another T6 legendary gear bundle, uh, the special enhancement crystals, and 100,000 magic powder. The raid pack is definitely good for anybody that just wants to like raise their heroes. If they want to bring their heroes up that they already have, they're not looking for a bunch of new heroes, you still get the three-star hero ticket. That's a nice gift. Uh, but the highlights out of this pack are going to be the Stones of Infinity, I guess 30 million gold, and then the uh, the 100,000 magic powder. Those, those are the highlights out of this pack, in my opinion. Nothing on day four. Oh, the 10 loot boosters are also really nice. Uh, the Vespa pack is a pack designed for players that don't need any of the things from the last pack, in my opinion, okay? You can still get the Vespa pack just because you want to roll UWs because it has a UW on day one with 200,000 magic powder. The second day, you still get three Infinity Stones, and then you get a bunch of heroic uh, enchant scrolls. Day three, you get a UW and five ancient runes. Day four, you get a UW and a rune preserve ticket, which goes in your inventory. You can use this to take runes in and out of your gear for 24 hours for no cost. And then day five, you get a random UW and 15 reforge tickets. The value here is really great because you're getting, not only are you getting four UWs, I mean, that's a lot of UWs, but you're also getting reforge tickets. Reforge tickets are awesome for when you have gotten to the end game. And you have that one piece of gear that is just not rolling a stat that you want. Say you've got a T7 Beast of Chaos piece, and you've got three lines, but you can't get that fourth line, and you've spent some rubies on it trying to reroll it already. That's where these come in handy. They are not a common gift from Vespa. Uh, new players get 10 of them when they start. I think I've seen them exactly one other time, and now we're getting 15 more. If you are at that point where all you want is more hero power, not necessarily more hero raising, the Vespa pack is a really solid choice. You get a lot of options. You get to shuffle around some of your some of your runes if you're like maybe not using, say, Luna anymore, and she's got like three ancient attack runes on them. You can tear them out of there, put them on somebody else for free. That's really nice. Uh, the ancient runes, kind of cool. Good luck with those. And then you still get three infinity stones, so you get some growth. The highlights here... I mean, honestly, there's a highlight on almost every day, except for day two. Uh, you get 200,000 powder. That's a lot of powder. Uh, ancient runes kind of come and go, whatever. The rune ticket is nice. It's a good value. And then the reforge tickets are the real value in this pack. So there you go, guys. There's a quick overview of both of the packs. Now, there's something cool that you can do if you want to get more than one pack. You can actually purchase from the cash shop another pack for $84.99. That means you can get Vespa twice. You can get eight UWs if you wanted to. So you get it when you log in for free, and then you get it again, and that's eight UWs. That's insane. Or you could get 20 Infinity Stones. Or you could get four T1 Heroes. The possibilities are endless here. You can mix and match until, you know, your heart's desire. I think that's pretty fantastic. So... I hope that that was a pretty great review for you guys of the available packages and what you think you should do. Again, I can't look into everybody's account and tell you what I think you should do, but depending on where you're at in the game, I can do this really simply. If you're new and you don't know what to do, get the King's Pack, get some new heroes, get some progression. If you've been playing for a while and you need to get a couple heroes to T4 or T5, uh, maybe raise up a brand new hero that you got. The raid package is fantastic. That guarantees a T4 hero from zero. And then if you really just want more UWs, or maybe you don't have a lot of UWs, and you want to maybe get some fodder for grinding and making a UW ticket, the raid pack, or I'm sorry, the Vespa pack is a fantastic offer. Anyway, I'm Sigari. I really hope that you guys enjoyed that. Everybody on stream, shout out what's going on, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic day. See you later. All right, guys, that was pretty good. Yeah, yeah, we did it. I...